Hey everybody, I'm doing a review of Assassin's Creed. Now, Assassin's Creed is directed by Justin Kurzel, and it's written by Michael Leslie and Adam Cooper, who did the screenplays. And then it stars uh, Michael Fassbender, Marion Cotillard, and Jeremy Irons. For the most part, I think this movie is crap. I didn't like it. Uh, actually, I pretty much hated it. In previous videos, people have seen me talk about the SCQ, what I call the SCQ. The three, three things that can kill any action sequence. Shaky cam, close-ups, and quick cuts. This movie not only used one of them, but all three of them, and then added a fourth dimension to make the action scenes even worse, which was popping in and out from present day and the past. I can understand why they would want to do that for a little bit. In the first action sequence, I can understand wanting to pop back and forth once or twice to let the audience know that what is happening in the past is being relived in the, in the present day. The second time I can kind of see why they would want to do it because he's being forced back there and it's like he's getting drawn back. That I can understand. But again, only once or twice, that's all you really need. And then the third time though, and for the rest of the movie, it was really distracting, made no sense why you keep doing it. It's not cinematically engaging, it's just annoying. You could kind of see what was going on, but it didn't look that great. You're like, okay, yes, that happened. What was really frustrating was you could tell that they did a lot of planning on the action scenes. They did a lot of time figuring out what the choreography would be, but no one got to see it except for the people filming it. Because the audience, all we got to see was a lot of close-ups, some shaky cam, and quick cutting all over the place. So it's like, oh, I wish I could have been there to see that action scene. But I didn't get to see it in the movie. And that killed it. That killed the whole movie for me. I was like, I don't really care. And then on top of that, the story kind of didn't really make much sense. So you have a fight between the Knights Templar and the Assassin's Creed, which they don't really establish why they're fighting each other that much. You just know that they're mortal enemies. And then the Templar want to find the Apple of Eden. And the idea behind that is humanity's free will was given to them by the Apple of Eden, going through by the Bible stories. But when you first hear that explanation, the first thing that I thought of was, well, if you do that, don't you take away your own free will? And doesn't that negate the whole purpose of like controlling everybody or having the power of it? Like I didn't quite understand. But by the end of the movie, there was a huge reveal of some kind. At least it was kind of huge. And then that negates the whole everything that was happening before that. And I will, I will talk about that in a short little spoiler section at the end of this video. But the story was sloppy. The characters were kind of thrown together. Everything that happened in the present day, there was no emotional connection to any of the characters. You didn't really care. Everything in the past looked great. The 15th century production-wise looked really good on film. But they didn't utilize it for the action scenes. They just cut it around all over the place. And it, it didn't save the movie for me. So all in all, I'm going to give the movie a D Maybe a D plus. I'll give it a D plus because the 15th century looked good. But the rest of the movie is a throwaway and I'm probably never going to see it again. It's really sad because I was hoping that it would bring a new life into video game movies. And I think one of the reasons video game movies don't work is because people are trying to either stay too true to the source material to where all you get is basically a video game short scene you know a cinematic cut of the game or you get a very poor story just kind of thrown together with the little elements hoping to get the core fans of the game but you're not getting an actual film the reason comic book movies seem to be working in the past 20 years 15 years 
is because they had a lot of stories to choose from and a lot of character development that I don't think the games have yet. So they would need to do a lot more characterization and treat it more as a film than they are. Hopefully one day in the future we'll get a good one. I did like Warcraft, but I was a fan of the game. So there were a lot of things in there that were referenced for the gamers that the regular audience just wouldn't get. And I think the same might be in, the, in Assassin's Creed. There's probably a lot of things in the movie that only the people that played the game are going to get. However, the action scenes were filmed so bad that I really don't care, personally. So this is the spoiler part. I wanted to talk about this one thing. If you are going to see the movie, don't watch this part because it'll give away something. But at the end, they find the apple of Eden, and it's a mechanical ball. And the guy is holding it, and it starts to open, and all of the, this little green stuff starts to come out. And we're like, what? Does this mean that there's the ancient aliens theory? Are you going with that? Or why is it a... They give no explanation of that that I can remember. It could be that I stopped caring at that point. But I don't remember them ever giving an explanation of why it's a mechanical ball, where it came from, what's going on. And then they end the movie kind of abruptly to say, hey, come back for the sequel. But at that point, I didn't care, so I don't really care if they make a sequel. It's like they're trying to set up a universe or set up a series of movies, but they didn't even concentrate on the one that they had. So, D+, plus, take it or leave it, I don't think it was that great. But what do you guys think? Did you love the movie? If so, tell me why. Comment below and let me know your thoughts. Like, share, subscribe. Tell your friends. And I will see you on the next video.